Welcome again to my kitchen. It's another wonderful day and we are gonna make some easy peasy veggie tilapia stew. The easy way and as always, thank you for your time. With me here is my helper, Alan. Okay, so in front of you here is some cold uh, frozen tilapia and we wanna throw it in cold water. Um, after you remove all the packaging, it looks like that. You wanna cook rice separately and um, in my recipe I have some fresh and dry ingredients I have some chopped onions um, some red uh, tomatoes all chopped up for you some dry ingredients would be turmeric uh, lemon pepper seasoning blend cilantro cayenne pepper black pepper and of course chopped fresh tomatoes with um, coconut milk um, and everything is shown yes and everything is shown in that order um, so you have everything set up ready and ready to go into the frying oil um, don't forget the green uh, green peas and green beans my fresh frozen vegetables from Walmart all right here is a frying oil. You want to bring everything to medium heat. Mix up, mix up everything in that order. Make sure you don't look at the onions. <laughs> yeah, because they will make mm. your eyes cry. Yes. Okay, that's a lesson from Alan. So, in no particular order, uh, mix up everything. Um, mix up Koroga, Koroga, and you know, make sure everything is mixed up with oil. Um, the fresh aroma of onion. Can you smell that? Yeah. Mm, so yummy. Really yes. And then you just want to add some all the dry ingredients, the salt, um, and keep mixing. And then add the potatoes. And then finally add the tilapia. Look at that. Isn't that yummy? Yeah, it's so yummy. Yeah. So there go the potatoes, um, keep mixing, make sure all the spices are mixed in, and then add the tilapia, um, and then pour in the coconut milk. I wish I had the fresh coconut, but I don't, so I'm going to use the canned stuff, um, and that works as well. Um, keep everything cooking in medium heat. Um, cover everything up and in about two or three minutes come back to your stew and it's just gonna look yummy the fish will be white in color it's no longer pink and the stew is boiling and at this point in time everything you know breaks apart and that's okay that's okay there's no bones to worry about it and it's a gumbo stew Thanksgiving and you can eat that every day it doesn't have a lot of um, hot pepper but you can always add that and it's also healthy it is yummy and healthy and you can eat that with rice with garlic with chapati you can eat that with anything <laughs> thank you so much for your time okay bye bye Asante. If you don't mind, smash the uh, like, like button. button and tell us what you think about it. Thank you so much.